are back with more League of <laughs> Legends. Um, they have just started up the draft, I think. So let me yeah. look at that. And I will we pull that up for you. <laughs> oh, we see a Maokai. Call back anyone that was viewing the last game. Looks like Trinity's picking the Maokai this time. Which is pretty exciting. I know we little otters pretty pretty excited about <laughs> making that happen. All right, let's just look at the bands real quick. All right, of course the Caitlyn can be really impressive in that bot lane. So tracks. Okay, so we see Seraphine Victor. And once again, if you saw that last game, you know how dangerous. <laughs> you know, Cammy can play on that Victor. Mm -hmm. And at UC Berkeley, we see the Misfortune pulled out again. I, I definitely think that's a pretty popular pick nowadays, just because she can be pretty strong. Uh, I don't really know how Wukong plays, to be honest with you. Um, I, I kind of think, well, do you think that's a jungle, or do we think that's a top Wukong? I think we'll, we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Well, we definitely see that Cinder counter on Victor. I know Cinder just got the rework. I don't really know how Victor fares into Cindra with the rework. Have you played any Cindra rework, Audrey? Not yet. Not yet. I've heard it's pretty, pretty nasty to play into, though. So that could definitely be something if you see Berkeley is good at this, that Trinity should be worried about. I think Syndra will probably have a better early game with this rework, but I do think Victor will certainly have the ability to come back. Yeah. As we get into mid game here. Yeah, right, as long as he doesn't get too behind, you're right. I mean, we did see how well Victor scales in that last game. It was, it's pretty terrifying. Um, okay, so there they ban. We see Berkeley banned the uh, Senna because you know Senna Seraphine can be mm. an unfortunate lane. <laughs> yes, I know it'll be interesting. I'm I'm thinking that Trinity University will probably end up picking Seraphine ADC. That's my like gut feeling, but we will see if it ends up being Seraphine support because. We're assuming that Victor is going mid. Okay, so we got the Nautilus pick from UC Berkeley. Looks like they're looking for some kind of tanky front lane hook champ. I'm personally not the biggest fan of Nautilus right now. I mean, I, I'm a big Nautilus player, but I know that he can be kind of like one of the less tanky picks out there. Okay, so we right, see yeah. the Olaf. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That'll probably be an Olaf top. Uh, I don't know if we have do the same people playing this game. Maybe. I don't know. On, on Maroon's side? On or? Maroon's side, yeah. Do we have... Okay, we do a variation. I was wondering if we might have a sub, but we do not. We have the same roster. Very exciting. Oh, and okay, then they picked so. the Janna. Which will be great for just a little peel on our Seraphine, especially with that Wukong. It can be pretty aggressive. Okay. That's true. Okay, so we've got, <laughs> looks like the Yorick top. We got a Wukong, Wukong jungle. jungle. Mm -hmm. The Nautilus, Misfortune bot, and a Syndromid. Wow, that makes for a pretty, pretty exciting game. It's, I, I will say UC Berkeley seems, I guess, a little scary. But I mean, Trinity's team is can be just as scary too. Trinity's got a lot of AP, which I I guess I kind of worry about just because that can sometimes make a team like susceptible. But also, UC Berkeley doesn't have any like major tanks except for Nautilus, so. Okay, we are going to switch. Maybe I should turn the volume down. It seems like it's really loud. <laughs> oh my god. Just 
especially the bands in tournament draft. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's kind of intense. Okay. Okay, I'm excited to see. I haven't actually looked into Victor Syndra matchup since the rework, so excited to see how that works out. I know, me too. That'll be really interesting and exciting. I know Olaf Top. I don't. I haven't actually seen Ariation play any Olaf Top or none that I can like really remember. I don't know. Do you think Yorick is a good counter into Olaf Top? He does have, I guess, a lot of like peel potential. Yorick is kind of an unusual pick. Uh, which makes me think that guy on UC Berkeley plays a lot of Yorick. Yeah, I think you can always you can always look at what should counter. It doesn't always end up countering as you as you would like it to. <laughs> yeah, that's right very there. fair. Yeah. And then the misfortune Nautilus will definitely probably play pretty aggressively into the Seraphine Jana just because those are both very squishy picks but they will have to be really careful because John a seraphine like lends to a lot of poke uh that the nautilus uh, doesn't really have without getting up close and personal so it'll be right. interesting to see how that yeah that transpires especially with um and some people don't know this seraphine's uh line ability i'm not sure the name uh, when it hits someone that it's slowed, mm -hmm. that will root them. So it's not just uh, double with her line. Mm -hmm. So depending with that Janna W, they might be able to catch out MF if she is not BB and sexy enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. think okay yeah i'm just making sure you can hear both of us <laughs> it's funny there's like not as much chat chat excitement as the last game everybody was hyped for game number two let's see if we can okay so we are live i don't know if we have any any watchers right now though so we I have a few we do. Yeah, yeah. Hi, chat. Hello, oh, chat. Okay. They Hello. aren't talking. But, <laughs> they're there. but they're here. Okay. I see you. I see you. <laughs> We're watching. And now I got on, so it probably looks like I'm on there, too. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> no, we have a really, we have a really big fan base. Everybody's here. All five of them. All five of them. Yeah, I so mean, they're I'm sure yeah. all the all the Cami fans have to I know all the Cami fans should have come back. I mean Victor number two. Exactly. Yeah. It's the second run. I'm I'm excited to see the Malachi jungle. We little otter play Malachi oh, yeah. jungle. It's definitely kind of just a funky fun pick right now. So hopefully that'll be strong. I mean we saw that Malachi Jungle isn't always like always OP, you know, because there mm -hmm. are ways it that it doesn't work it is beatable we proved that last <laughs> game so we'll have to see i know definitely looking at combo wise on uc berkeley's team trying to think i guess i mean nautilus ult is always great for any spam they have a lot of like burst you know Syndra is definitely kind of a burst champion misfortunes a lot of burst uh wukong do you think Wukong's burst? I think it, it depends how he's built, really. Yeah. Junglers it, tend to build a little more damage mm -hmm. compared, especially since they're going to have both the Nautilus and York already yeah. being pretty tanky. But we will just have to see the mm -hmm. rune. That. Yeah. I mean, the Seraphine Janna really gives a lot of pick potential to University Gaming. Uh, they can 
try to pick a lot of people out. I mean, they're they seem pretty long range. Just with the Victor, Seraphine, Jana, that's a lot of long range folk. Uh, Malkai is definitely a little bit closer range, but also with the like little saplings, that'll be <laughs> probably pretty uh, useful and hopefully do a good amount of damage. It'll be interesting to see if like Wee Little Otter decides to go more of an AP build or a tank build. I'm not sure which one is the build for jungle jungle right now yeah. yeah well and then we're gonna have to watch out for that nautilus ult with the mf combo can be pretty evil i would say mm. so yeah it might be kind of oppressive once they hit six but once again we'll just have to see how these builds come out and yeah what happens no you're very right that definitely will be a little scary that um level six I mean, the level 6 is definitely scary for the Malkai as well, because that's where a lot of his uh, merit comes in, is with that ult. And I know mm -hmm. the Olaf invincibility is good, too. So it'll be interesting to kind of see how all of that plays out. we got about 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to try to make this game not actually sit in the dark <laughs> in the We're Nocturne ult. It. Yeah, we're going to try to try to make it happen, try to get into it. Wow, that made me realize I haven't like seen a Nocturne in my games in quite a while, actually. Really? Yeah, I miss them. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll see a Nocturne at some point in time in the games in the future. I know Wee Little Otter likes playing him a lot. Uh, feels like he's a pretty good, solid pick, so... We'll have to see. Okay, let me check out the skins. That's always <laughs> important. I know, skins are definitely the most important thing. If they're bad, it's just like, GG, you know. It's GG. <laughs> the... uh. Okay, the, the battle bunny misfortune. Oh, man. I don't know about that one. I know, it's, it's going to be hard. Hmm be hard it's, it's distracting <laughs> <laughs> okay so now we know Get the spirit blossom yorick this kt1 olaf let's go i like that <laughs> call the worlds Cyclops, Victor. No, it'll be interesting to see because I just don't know if Spurs 21 has ever like really played Seraphine or practiced that champion as an ADC. I know it is definitely a very strong ADC pick right now. Uh, so All are, right, are you in? I am in, officially, yeah. I mean, I'm going ahead, and I'm I'm going in as far as I can. Okay, sure. I'm at, like, 22 or something. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. about right. That okay. Works. Oh, we're seeing something interesting here. This red side, they're going for some kind of strat. <laughs> that's true. Okay. Oh, but the Janna is going to scout that. Oh, wow. That was, that was a lucky, lucky decision to send that Janna over. Mm, yeah, that could have been really bad for TU Gaming, <laughs> but luckily they were able to see that. Looks like uh, UC Berkeley will be just like heading straight in. Uh, I don't know if the graphics are right, but UC Berkeley is on red side, Trinity is on blue side. Uh, looks like they are going to just sit at that camp, but I don't think, or it looks like Maokai will still still farm that's blue buff right still farm the blue buff <laughs> but it is warded so hopefully trinity will clear that ward at some it's point red. <laughs> <laughs> oh it is red okay so it's not blue. Yeah. my my bad guys i'm learning <laughs> just a little okay, like and we see they pulled the wave bot so mm. it's always nice and evil <laughs> We see just a little trading in the mid lane. 
coming off of a win, I'm sure Trinity University is feeling relatively confident in their ability. I'm not really sure if UC Berkeley won their game, uh, but that could affect their mental in this game at this point in time. Oh, Looks the like Nautilus the Nautilus took Lorenz. And so so is chunked a little bit. He's going to have to pop those pots. And there's some of that cinder damage. We see here in the bot lane that Arjana has gone Relic Shield, which has been an interesting choice. Maybe play more on the tankier side, a little more defensive. Mm. Close Nautilus hook, but not quite. Yeah, that is a very, very good note. Is interesting, the Relic Shield pick. That bush presence can just be a little, little oppressive here. Hmm. A lot of damage coming out from the Syndra. She will be stunned. Victor will get off a lot of damage too. Pretty even trade there. Looks a little bit more tame this game than the last one <laughs> where when we, we popped in at three minutes and there were already <laughs> about three kills on the board. No kills just yet. I know, I was about to say, it might happen right here though. Yeah, with the Syndra, who knows? <laughs> you know, we'll see if Cami plays safer. Uh, just with that burst damage is kind of scary. Get it poked out, though. A little bit of trading. A little scary, though. Looks like... Oh, is that the Syndra Flash? Looks like that Syndra Flash came out. I'm not really sure if that was... I guess it was on purpose. Was she trying to just dive I the victor? Not. It. I don't know. It's. I was a little confused by that. It looks like Wee Little Otter is here. Little, little skirmish. He'll just try to get out of there. Oh. Wow. That's a lot of damage coming out from the that Syndra. Syndra threat. A little scary, but they're able to come out okay. Wee Little Otter seems like he'll still just kind of go for those camps. Uh. Just so much damage from the Syndra. With it's a lot of damage from the Syndra. The Doran's ring, nothing else. Yeah. A Doran's ring and a, a will to kill. Mm. Looks like Red Side got uh, both scuttles. <laughs> which. <laughs> is Once good, again. Good for them, yeah. Questioning the Naokai jungle. How, how effective is it here? Mm -hmm. Until about level six, at least. Okay, we see Nautilus in the mid lane. Yeah, this could be a little dangerous. We little otters oh. here to help, and, they and they're the able to get one blood. kill. But it looks like they might trade little we little otter for it, and they do. But that might be the role that we little otter is taking. He might have to be kind of the sacrifice in order to get his victor ahead, because I know that's uh, kind of important. Is to limit this Syndra as much as possible, especially when we look at that damage. It's just so scary. Uh, you don't want her to get too strong. For sure, and I'm just peeking in the top lane every once in a while. They just, they seem pretty peaceful up there. <laughs> you know, bot lanes seem relatively tame as well. A lot of trading, but nothing Nothing too crazy has happened. The first dragon oh. is up. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of stuff going on. Little Otter kind of chasing out the monkey. <laughs> you don't want any monkey business in his jungle. Yeah, get out of me swamp. <laughs> I don't know. Can you do an accent better? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> do not have the best accents. I thought your your rendition was pretty good. Okay. Uh, it's questionable, but thank you. <laughs> you see, Sindra really pushing waves, uh, pretty hard under tower. Looks like she's gonna start to go mid. We'll see if that's she's just placing a ward. We'll probably come back. Uh, we see just more ward clearing. Everybody's kind of sticking to themselves right now. It's, it's, a, tamer, it's a tamer game. game. <laughs> I know. We'll see if the skirmishes is what helped Trinity in the last game. And 
Kong's approaching this first dragon here. Mm. And then does Trinity know that they're about to, I mean, they'll know in a second that the <laughs> dragon's gone, I guess. Uh, Alpha's not quite there, unfortunately. Yeah, it looks like they're relatively like unworried. Uh, they said, give the first, because you know, we'll come back. We'll come back in mid game. <laughs> <laughs> I know that is the hope. It's the dragon slain. A little worried about Ooh. that Syndra. Looks, <laughs> looks like the Olaf, and the Olaf takes down the. Oh my god. Get up mid. Oh, that's the Nautilus. And there's flash. the miss. And there there's the is. Nautilus flash. But Virgin Ninja will be able to grab a kill as well, which is, I mean, that's a great trade for him. Yeah, especially and that being kill chilling. goes onto the Nautilus instead of Syndra, which is oh, helpful wow. for sure. That is very helpful. <laughs> so we got a little bit more kills. Gold this is still pretty Kong. even. Invading and doing whatever he wants. You know, Wukong is playing very aggressively in this also game. Escape, escape potential with his clone is just mm -hmm. pretty powerful here. I know it's definitely looking like TU will be... I mean, honestly, I feel like there's still a lot of carry potential throughout the team on TU. I don't think it will be the Maokai. I think the Maokai will probably need to go... I mean, it looks like Josh... I mean, sorry, Wee Little Otter is currently building bombies, or he just got bombie center, so he's Ooh. definitely going to go more of a tank build, probably more of a CC build. He's going to support his oh. team. And yeah, we see the Nautilus there. top, okay, the but will they be able to do anything? Out. Looks like not. Getting some plating on the bot side. Look at that Wukong just kind of hovering there. Oh, Looks they're gonna like be able to he might up. be punished for that. And Finally, there it is. For all the <laughs> like I said, it's it's my swamp, it's my jungle. You got to get out of here. That's very very right. They were able to punish. Looks like the Syndra will kind of punish Virgin Damn Ninja it. back though. It's gonna force the ult from him and force the flash. flash. Uh, that kind of does leave Cami a little bit susceptible to. Uh, a dive. walking up once again. He is. He might be hex flashing. It looks like he'll just uh, grab a ward there. And Kami can't really do that much there. I know definitely the Wukong and the Nautilus have been very active on the map. Looks like Wee Little Otter is coming right back up. Looks like they will lose a kill right here, but gain a kill in the top lane. The top lane yeah question is, with Nautilus being gone from bot lane so often, have they been able to punish that MF, or is she just too fast and too sexy? Too fast, too furious, too sexy. <laughs> I know, I definitely am surprised they haven't done more just because the Nautilus is away, because you'd think they'd be able to really take advantage of that, really yeah, starve her. Well, up CS, she has Kraken. She is so. up CS? Oh, wow, yeah. So that is the question, can Janna match that roaming potential of a Nautilus with, he doesn't even have Mopis, wow, he's just running around, okay. Yeah. No, that's definitely scary, MF and Syndra already have their first item, uh, and are looking pretty strong at this point, while there aren't really people on, yep. Syndra once again taking that victor. We little otter can will see little if he can do anything, it. but I don't. I don't think this is a good fight for we little otter. Wow. He will go down for trying to enact revenge. So this is looking like a uh, mid laner. a Syndra win in the mid lane in this matchup against the Victor for sure. Mm. <laughs> Looks like okay. UC Berkeley Maybe. will go for that rift. He'll take that. So they've been getting a lot of the object objectives on the map, uh, which is definitely a little scary. More gold to Syndra. I uh, gotta say, just this map pressure with Nautilus is having a huge impact. Mm -hmm. 
for sure. Just he's always in mid, always in top lane. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like they will take this. Will um, Victor be able to get any kills there, though? I don't think so. Oh, in the bot lane? Can they maybe? Nope. She's too fast and too sexy, as I've been saying. <laughs> yeah, they were unable to secure anything bot lane. That was a good try. Victor wasn't able to get a kill, but he gave off a lot of damage in that fight. Looks like Trinity is trying to kind of get ready for this dragon, take a, be a little bit more proactive here. So I think they're realizing they kind of they kind of need this dragon. Uh, but this could be this could be bad. Looks like Spurs is chunked. Aoe damage. That's a four v three. There's not much to do there. First off, that Malkai ult. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, that was Nar a little Spurs scary. narrowly dodges that Nautilus hook. Oh, but the Victor comes. The Victor's and tells him to back off. We still have top and top. <laughs> They're just farming. It's it's Stardew Valley up there. <laughs> no one will be taking the dragon right now. Looks like everybody's gonna back off. A lot of damage was done. Uh, UC Berkeley is up in gold, about about two thousand gold up right now. So Trinity University is gonna have to kind of like farm. I mean, they're gonna have to look for more picks. It seems like. They haven't had the best fights recently. <laughs> but the Olaf is pretty strong, so it'll be interesting to see what happens when he enters the fight. But also that Syndra, they just keep I'm giving fight. the Syndra gold. It's like... You see Berkeley might just get this dragon if they don't step in soon. Yep. It looks like they're gonna take this second dragon and it looks like... Uh, Urgent we Ninja might not make kill. it out. And he doesn't. This is looking a little scary here. Able to put the Cinder Charm, I mean the Seraphine Charm, and get the Jana yeah. out, but at what cost? <sighs> Looks like Trinity University might be needing to play through top if they can. Uh, I mean, the Seraphine and Jana still haven't gotten killed, but that misfortune is pretty scary and the Syndra and the Wukong are just if, as scary if not like more so right I think the bot lane they've been surviving sure but have they been thriving mm -hmm. yeah. that's a very I mean, good point the, the MF with this 150 shutdown just once again they're playing Stardew top and MF <laughs> yeah Oh, and we see that bot tower is going to go over to Loyola. I mean, sorry, you see Berkeley. Uh, that's definitely, that's so much gold going to that Syndra. She's probably about to finish a second item. And that is pretty, like that's pretty scary minutes? for Trinity. They, yeah. they definitely need to take her out of the fight if they can. Uh, I mean, honestly... They just need to like avoid her burst damage if they can, but she's been playing really well this game. The Nautilus has definitely made a big impact on the map by just being so active, by constantly moving, constantly helping. Looks like things are pretty docile right now. Just trying to farm. There's been kind of a lane swap here. Victor doesn't even try to uh, match the Syndra at this point because he knows that he's just not he's not strong enough at this point. <laughs> I mean, look at that Syndra CS. That's yeah, so she's wild. Just, just very dominant in this game. We're seeing Syndra rework and how well that's working out for them. Okay, mm -hmm. little skirmish here in the. I know, it looks like Wee Little Otter River. will make it out. I mean, well, no, he won't make it out. He's trying his best. He's got to get the flash. And Ariation's oh, trying to get out, so and he's going to be killed they there. Also at the same time in that uh, dual bot fight. Oh. And they were able to pick <laughs> out Jana. Yeah. So this is looking 
looking a little grim. Trinity fans will not be the happiest right now. I know <laughs> that I am a little sad, but they are definitely not out of the game at this point. Yeah, we they can just never can never question the the comeback with just how hard never that Never question scales. the comeback. That's right. They just they just need more time. And that's what we'll tell ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I think big team fights are not what they're looking for right now. And also, it feels like just a lot of the fights that Trinity has gotten themselves into haven't and been very advantageous for here. them. Yeah, this could be a really good opportunity right. for them. If they That's can get the Syndra. And they get it. And, and the then she's out. Right there. That's great for them. That is really big for Trinity University. Looks like UC Berkeley will kind of counter and take <laughs> the Rift Herald there. Uh... And that's the Maokai ult. They were looking for that misfortune, but they were unable to secure that. He's just so fast. Yeah. Looks like they're just going to go full force, they see if there's anything get. they can get. And they are oh, able like to get, get the Yorick. The Yorick. There. They're just going to keep going, because if they can get anything, they're going to take it. Oh. Will that MF well, get caught out? Get it. Okay, and Olaf gets the shutdown. On. Is it on? Um, uh, Nautilus. Nautilus. Okay. Okay. So now we're thinking maybe they can get a tower. Let's go, <laughs> Trinity. <laughs> Hope is they can push this advantage now that they've gotten some extra kills, some extra gold. Maybe they're able able to buy some items and <laughs> make some more plays on the map. Yeah, looks like they will get their first thing. Uh, get some objective bounty. Yeah, we see UC Berkeley trying to take this soul point uh, under Trinity's nose. Looks like Trinity is just going to have to let them right now. That's definitely not the best for Trinity. Right, so just with the combination of last game and this game, I'm... I'm seeing something with the Maokai jungle where there's just a difficulty in taking objectives and exerting that map pressure, mm -hmm. I think. There's, there's something there. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know I'm surprised to see uh, just how Maokai jungle isn't as oppressive as I once thought it was. I know in pro play it can be kind of a make or break situation a lot of times like the Maokai right. adds a lot they're gonna let this rift herald go and they're gonna take this tier 2 oh, bot hard. tower hopefully the victor can I know victor's trying away. to escape with his life here maybe he can get it looks like they will get a second charge off uh, wow. which is a lot of gold not great yeah I know, that's a lot of gold going into the pocket of UC Berkeley uh even though they kind of lost that fight, they're still exerting a lot of dominance here. Uh, but looks like Trinity's going to try to see if they can catch the Syndra. And they are just yeah, barely Malfoy able to do it, it without even getting a scratch from the Wukong. That's definitely really big for them to try to get on that Syndra. Um, but they'll have to be careful because that Wukong is still pretty strong as well. Yeah, Cinder's on her second item. Victor's on a second item, which is good. The Victor is kind of, I think, what Trinity's going to be playing through at this point. Yeah, just the Victor and the Olaf, they're hoping. And then as the Seraphine will scale, but it's just a fact that can Seraphine keep up with that gold bleed mm -hmm. that Beth uh, has all that CS? Yeah. I know we'll see if they're able to get any objective bounties here. I think Jana realized she's in kind of a precarious situation. <laughs> Wukong's kind of rushing in. Will we see a fight here? Uh, we might. Looks like they're going to try to get on this Wukong. Wukong. Maybe Blackers. maybe shut him down. Wasn't quite a win. And there we go. Right, the Olaf gets the shutdown on the, shut the Wukong. Are they able to get this Nautilus? Yes, they are. 
Oh. Very good. Okay. <laughs> a little excited there. Yeah, it, was a little, it might have been an accidental uh, flash there. We're having wow. some issues with um. And that's a knockbacks and a shutdown for the Syndra. Oh. But is but Virgin Ninjas ever able to kill her back? So that's just a one but for we one. We just see this top lane. They're gonna have to deal with Yorick just yeah. split pushing away. <laughs> Yeah, Trinity's definitely like trying to salvage all that they can. They're trying to push <laughs> while also trying to counter that split push, which is definitely a little hard for them. For sure. And this this next Drake coming yeah, up. Yeah, looks like Spurs twenty one was caught out. He's able to flash away. Which is very good for Trinity, because you're right, that Drake is coming up. University of California, or I guess UC Berkeley's trying to start securing vision here, try to clear out these saplings. I mean, Trinity University really needs to figure out what they're going to do here because this would, this is going to be a big fight. Uh, they don't want UC Berkeley to get this dragon. That could be the make or break point of this game, this final dragon. Yeah. It's like you see Berkeley's gonna get that scuttle, kind of clearing out this vision. York pushing in the top. Yeah, York looks like he's just gonna TP still. Ready. Yeah, he's just gonna push for as long as he can. All right, there's a there's a storm brewing here. Yeah. Get all the vision they can. Let's see if you see Berkeley really cares to even like get this dragon. Obviously, they're in a very good position. Looks like Virgin Ninja's going to kind of counter that Yorick. The Yorick's going to start heading over. Well, it looks like he's just going through the jungles, maybe taking jungle camps. Victor's running. Running over to Dragon. York's just gonna stay steady on that side, just keep split pushing. And that's right. the Maokai ult. Will it hit anybody? Looks just like it will hit the Nautilus, but maybe that's all they need. Maybe not. Ooh, little Looks Otter's in deep. Little Otter is in there. That that misfortune damage is a lot. And York's in their base, getting in heads as we speak. Mm-hmm. I do think Trinity University We'll get the dragon if they want, but yeah. But it's at what like, cost? It's not Their enough. It's like the Yorick's just going to wow. keep going because there's no one stopping him. Is anyone going to back toward the Yorick? They're backing they right now, end? but is that too late? I think it might be too late. Well, thankfully, Victor had that TP, but that's... That's an open nexus now. That is an open nexus. That's a really scary... <sighs> wow. Just Trinity University is in kind of a precarious double, situation. Double TP on um, UC Berkeley's side as well. That's going to be a vulnerable... Yeah. Situation. Trying to see if they can catch out that Syndra. They found her. But Love Soso, -so, is he getting too close? like they'll be able to oh man Whoa. will they though it hurts so bad she, <laughs> she get, out. get out they're wow. trying to rush this baron i feels like trinity university is so split on the map and some misfortunes coming and this misfortune can just let out an ult if she really wants uh, sure? i don't know if are they going to be able to get Malachi this has a time? smite yes he does Ooh. and they're able to get that bounty can it's not quite out? in time Okay, that Baron is for sure going to help them out here. Helps them out a lot. I mean, with an open Nexus, that's very scary, especially with that Yorick split push. Like, they just can't do anything until they basically ace the team because anybody could come and try to just, like, end the game. They're in a better position. They're catching up gold-wise, and they're fighting super hard. Oh, look, wee little Otter kind of got himself into a bad spot, I think. 
Will this affect the whole game? It looks like that's a really good ultimate from Spurs 21. And are they able to catch off that Syndra to too? That yes, Syndra. they are. And they are able to kill that Syndra, although she kills that Maokai right back. And there's that Yorick. Getting the tower. That Yorick. <laughs> Just taking that They're bot tower. It's that Jeez. split pushing Yorick. Looks like Trinity's just gonna try to push if they can. I think they've just they realize like they're in a precarious situation. If anybody's dead, they gotta they gotta take advantage of what they can. So we do see just that Olaf and Victor like we were thinking coming to light. Really having fun with it. Yeah, it looks so like they're just they gonna can. march right down to this base. I think they're just trying to like. Okay, so it looks like there's been a game pause. Uh, I'm not quite sure what happened. ADDC if... was typed in chat. So. ADPC. DC. So I think the MF may be disconnected. Oh, I see. I see. I... So looks like there will be backing, and now we're right back into the game. <laughs> Hoping I can go pee, but it's fine. <laughs> oh wait, um, there was not another oh. pause, right? I'm also paused, so I'm not sure. Okay, it's very strange. Thing. Let me see if I can look at time controls and pause and play. Okay, that okay. helped me. Yeah, that helped me. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we are back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay. Trinity University is now up in gold. However, like we said, Open Nexus and also kind of just a crazy uh, Yorick is very scary for them and has made well, this game. Drag point with a Yorick split push is just a very unfortunate situation. It is a very unfortunate situation. Can you even prioritize that dragon when yeah. York could win the game for you just any any day now? I definitely think they just need a really good like fight and but it's maybe, like but can they can they match Yorick. that Yorick? Because it's like the last fight that they had near the dragon, it's like they didn't because they waited to get a good fight, the Yorick just took so much from them. It's for wild because sure. at the end of the day it's a game about killing the Nexus. Doesn't matter how much gold you have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh wow, I just saw they don't even have that bot tower for T. Mm hmm Yeah. Okay, as the drag is coming up here, let's see, just a little reset inside. Yeah, looks Buddies. like they will push in. You see Berkeley will push in that mid wave. Yorick looks like he's just gonna come. I think Trinity's yeah, gonna see if they can push anybody out. I mean the Victor and the Olaf are pretty pretty strong right now. Yeah, but it looks like Yorick's coming for our base just now. Yeah. The Victor's there, but it's will like he the be Victor can't do anything. There? Like he needs to But it's like, will he be able to able actually, to it's like, his job okay. is, okay, he's able to kill him. Now we gotta go back to this dragon fight. Victor has the TP, Looks like there's that Maokai ult. Will the Victor make it in time? Looks like that ult goes off. Are they able to kill the Wukong? I don't know who got that. Blue, Blue team, team got it, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I think they're gonna water. just try to walk this thing down if they can. They're running. Right, they, they're like, while the lanes are pushed <laughs> out, while they're dead, let's see what we can do here. They got that 40 minute timer. I think they can make it if they just keep, if they just go, the Yorick's up in about 14 seconds, Wukong's not up for 20 seconds. Oh, but the MF That ult. MF ult is scary. But it looks like Trinity's just gonna tank it if they can. I love how Spurs Twenty One is tanking it, like the squishy ADC. Oh, and that Janimato. Can Are they, they get able it in to time? make it, or will this be the end? 
wow. Will they make it? Will they make it? They got it! They did wow. it! Oh my god! Wow. Wow. That what? Was crazy. <laughs> what an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the heck happened there? <laughs> What that hurt my heart? That okay. did hurt my heart. You did it though. They, oh my gosh, it. guys! Wow. Even with that Syndra, wow, we do see the Victor damage on top still. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, Cami on that Victor and uh. Wow, another Eric another GG Victor performance, man. Yeah, for I, real. Okay, we definitely carry. need the interview. We need the interview. I think for we're sure. gonna have to get that interview. I think that's what the people want. Right? Is that what the people want? <laughs> don't even ask. Just bring no, him No, don't even ask. <laughs> Okay, I'm asking right now. I'm gonna see if we can <laughs> we can pull him for an interview. Wow, what a game, guys! A that, game. Was that was crazy. <laughs> I myself was pretty nervous the whole game. Uh, cause I was on edge for sure. Because obviously UC Berkeley was pretty ahead, uh, in that game and had a pretty pretty considerable lead, and then. That Yorick split push was definitely really scary, but in the end, they honestly kind of trolled, in my opinion, because I think they just felt really secure that the Yorick could just kind of split push in any scenario. Uh, and I think Trinity actually handled that really well by having the Victor stay back. The and Victor stay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All wow. Right. I know, I'm, <laughs> I'm asking right now. I don't know if I'm going to get... But my response is gonna be, I'm gonna. It's what the people want. It's I know so. it's what the people it's, want. That's what the people want. <laughs> Even if the people is one person in chat, you know, it's what the people want. Yeah. Um. I that was definitely a really big win for TU Gaming because that's an all for diamond sure. team. Uh. And we have kind of a an array on TU Gaming. I know we have some some so diamonders. Are they all masters or all diamond? They're all. Actually, maybe they might be masters. I don't know. Yeah, but anyways. Yeah, they kind of trolled it though. <laughs> I yeah, I don't. I, yeah. No comments. I just okay. I think of, I think we're yeah. able to get an interview. If Ooh, I, okay. Do you have any questions you want to ask? <laughs> oh, don't no no. <laughs> I don't know what just to ask. ask. How to how do you pull that off? You know. True. True. Okay, we're gonna get we're gonna get this interview, guys. I, I know everybody's <laughs> wanting it. Uh, I think we're about to have Cami moved into the caster's chat. Hello. Hello. <laughs> MVP. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, no, n I I won't say that, but a, a very <laughs> important player, a very important player for sure. Am I on TV? Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. you're on yep. stream. What were what were your thoughts during that game? Like what? How how did you guys like do that? Um, in the most recent game, I was like, well, I I had gotten solo killed by the Syndra, and I was like, fuck, I just got gapped. Like, what am I gonna say? <laughs> but then, but then, um, I you know collected some shutdowns and we played some macro, and I uh, I got really strong. And yeah. Then their Yorick was um limit testing a little bit. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> ran into our towers over and over. And yeah. Gave me free gold, so that was pretty good too. I actually think it was a mistake. Um, to take our inhib and just have the Yorick keep going uh, top because mm -hmm. he couldn't fight me and I was just getting free gold off him. Mm -hmm. So kind of brought me back into the game. I yeah, know. and that extra gold from the uh, from your destroyed inhib actually also might have helped. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I, I think it was fine to take the inhib there because he, he got both our Nexus Towers, but I think they need to make a play as a team through top lane um, to fight mm -hmm. in, us in our base, I think was the correct choice for them instead of... Uh, Sending the Yorick top and the, you know, dying to me. I know it was interesting. <laughs> it did feel like they just felt really confident the Yorick could like end the game. So, like, I know, bro was like one and six, it. and just... <laughs> <laughs> he was split pushing well. And I would say that dragon fight was pretty scary because he like he almost had your nets nexus there, but like 
after that it seemed kind of bad to keep yeah for sure to keep going yeah wow that was a that was a pretty incredible game to play I I know the chat wanted wanted to hear from you Uh, oh really (laughs) yeah yeah I've never been a celebrity before. They, so. <laughs> they liked the Victor a lot. Is is Victor a common pick for you, or was that just the smart choice in the um, in the draft? So, the first game we we had picked Victor because uh, they had Talia and Misfortune, mm-hmm. and well, those are both immobile carries, right? Like they can't really do shit against mm-hmm. Victor. Mm. Um, and I'm pretty comfortable on him. And then the second game, we, we had seen the previous match results from um, UC Berkeley. Okay. And we saw that their mid laner had fucking... Oh, sorry. Can I curse? <laughs> I yeah. mean, yeah, I you're think. okay. <laughs> oh, basically, he had 1v9 the game on Victor. So we were like, why don't we just take his champ? Yeah. <laughs> Yoink. Yeah. Uh, not gonna lie. I got I died a few times, um, Tim. <laughs> He's a good player. But... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean they they played around mid really well. Their mm-hmm. their Nautilus had come mid oh, quite yeah. a few times and um, kind of owned me. I wouldn't lie. Yeah, um, no, that Nautilus pressure was like it was very insane. Game changing to me. Yeah. No, it's it's it was really smart for them because they're playing against double enchanter bot lane, so misfortune can just mm-hmm. farm right. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. Um, Nautilus doesn't have to be there because it's so hard to kill anyway. So yeah. it was it was really smart. Uh, I I I expected that Nautilus would be mid. I just didn't expect him to come that much. <laughs> always be mid. I don't yeah. think he even went back to bot for like <laughs> 10 minutes or something crazy. I got ganked by the dude from topside and I was like what is going on? Like, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, it was a very very fun game to watch. Just I mean, well, nerve-wracking well, game scary, to watch. But, yeah. I was going to say I don't know like the but, ending. Yeah, no, it's it was fun. scary cuz the Syndra is very strong, but I think the way you guys handled it and came back was incredibly impressive and honestly really exciting for future games cuz Yeah, I mean, it's just like a draft if. Yeah. Um I think everybody on the on the team knows what they're doing in terms of draft. Like everyone's really smart. Mm-hmm. And um the the Syndra against Victor was was a good good matchup for him and he uh he that was a good pick, but the problem was he just got ran at by Olaf and Maokai, right? Like, what can he do? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And uh, luckily my team, uh, you know, picked the right <laughs> champs and carried carried me to the late game where I could just kill Yorick and repeat, I guess. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, it was pretty interesting. I, I do think they made a big mistake on their part for uh, not drafting any peel for the Syndra. Mm-hmm. Nautilus is definitely, like, unfortunate right. that they picked. Yeah. It was a good game. Thank you so much for yeah. joining us, Cammy. It's game. great to hear from you. Thank you for having Sorry. me. <laughs> AVP. <laughs> <laughs> Very important person. Wait, wait. Or, wait. Wait. A M pause. A so MVP person. is most valued player. So yeah. AVP, A valued player. Okay, okay. We <laughs> figured it out. I think that we have five valued players, but you know, yeah. that's just me. Very true. Very true. All right. Thanks okay. for having me, guys. See you, yeah, Cammy. Of course. See ya. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Go to you, gaming. Go to you. Go open it. <laughs> Thanks for everybody who came and watched. It was quite a fun experience. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you. I don't think, at least I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I know TU has a game tomorrow at 2 p.m., so I will say. Think about them, have them in your hearts and minds and dreams. Oh. I don't know. I didn't. It didn't work. That didn't pan out. No, I, I liked it. <laughs> I, I thought it was fun. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. All right. Bye. Have a good one. Woo.